So I'm personally of the opinion that suicide should be a fundamental right. I'm not talking necessarily about assisted suicide. I just say suicide. Period. Now, obvious caveat is obvious that yes, there are people who are in a transient state of things being shitty in their lives and they should seek help, they should have friends and family to help them. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Yes, there are people who have chemical imbalances in the brain, but regardless, suicide should not be a first option on your list. It should be something that you do resort to as the final resort, in my opinion. So. Duh. What I'm talking about is the fact that people should have the right. Why? Because, first off, you don't even own anything on this planet except your life. It is the only thing you own. You don't own your property. You don't own anything. You, nobody owes you anything. It's the only thing that you own is your life. Why would you give away your choice to not have it if you don't want it? Now, to give my take on this whole suicide issue, I entirely agree. It should be a fundamental, basic human right to have the ability to end one's own life. Simply put, when else are you completely and totally, entirely in control of your own destiny than in the moment where you are considering, do I want to end it or not? As long as you have the right to consider that, you are a master of your own fate. You are the master of your destiny at that point, because at that moment, do you wish it to go forward or not? The choice is in your hands. Now, to back up the caveat that was already made, suicide should be a last option. It should be a last resort, something people do only when they're in extreme pain, suffering, or their life has reached a point where they cannot go on in their mind. When people reach that point, they should have the fundamental freedom to end it, because if you do not have that one freedom, then really you have no freedom beyond everything else. Oh, you know, you can have the freedoms to do lots of things, but if you do not have the freedom to control your own life, what freedom really do you have then? It's all transient beyond that. Oh, these freedoms that pertain to what you can do while you're alive and everything, they're important. But life itself is the most important factor, and the continuation of it or the ending of it is the most important choice whenever you consider it. That is the most important choice you can make. And if you do not have the right to make that choice whenever you feel like it needs to be decided again, you have no freedom. You have no choice then. Your life is meaningless because it has no option to end. It has no alternative. You must live then, no matter what. What, what is the meaning then? What is the virtue of a life that must go on whether you enjoy it or not, whether you put effort into it or not, whether you even care or not? There's no virtue to that. There's no point. And if you want to try to compel people because of a misguided idea of morals or virtue or rightness to stay alive no matter what, then not only are you denying people the guiding purpose of life, which is self-determination, you're really just lording over them and denying them fundamental rights for your own selfishness. Your own simple, base, selfish desire to see a comfortable world that you believe in overwrite everyone else's rights. And you don't have that freedom. You don't have the right to do that to people. Just something to think about.